Hello everyone, my name is Jesse and this is The Auditorium. I react to video game music as a musician myself. This is going to be a series of special videos for hitting my 50,000 subscriber goal. <laughs> Crazy that I even hit that number, but uh, what I'm going to be doing is in celebration, I'll be um, acknowledging what made this even possible, and that is the composers and developers of these games. And throughout this past year, I've had a number of developers and composers you know, reach out to me and to the channel and comment on the channel and uh, I'm basically doing a song from either something they've asked for or just something else that they've wrote to themselves. In this case, this is from the legendary David Wise from Donkey Kong Country and a bunch of other things. So this one was actually requested by Tetsujin on Patreon and a big shout out to David Wise for checking out the channel and let's just Continue this VGM journey. This song is called Mining Melancholy, by the way, from Donkey Kong Country 2. Let's go. <laughs> Donkey Kong Country music is very impressive. I could see how this would stick out to you as you're playing this as a child or even now. This is music that you can't really ignore. It's a very fitting song title. For some reason I keep thinking of Phil Collins. <laughs> I like how the percussion drops right there. Letting everything kind of open up. This is great. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. I wonder if that's him. Dude, I'm, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, I know it's early in the video, but that's one of the coolest VGM songs I've ever heard. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of love and passion put into this it's you can just tell immediately like throughout the whole song i kept thinking in my head this did not have to go and you know people say that a lot as a meme or as a joke yo you don't have to go this hard this is what they mean by that this is like the, the epitome of 
They didn't have to do any of that. This is crazy good. The attention to detail, the song title itself, you know, with one playthrough of hearing the song, I, I get it, right? It's obviously a mind, uh, mind stage. And then the melancholy, it, it's just it's what it sounds like. It sounds like sad music in a mind section. Brilliant use of percussion because of the setting. So everything we heard, all those clanks and, you know, all those um, non-normal percussion sounds, that was because of the setting, 100%. I can almost guarantee it. And it kind of reminded me a little bit of um, a game I recently played called Near Replicant in the, um, the factory. You guys know what I'm talking about with the, the kids. When the song uh, The Wretched Automaton starts playing, Automatons starts playing. It's the same kind of thing. It's got this whole like um, fitting of the setting type percussion. But this is way before Replicant. I'm just saying this is, um, you know, I'm curious. I, I don't know if I've heard much David Weiss outside of Donkey Kong. I think I've only heard Donkey Kong stuff from him. But I'm curious if like Nintendo specifically asked for a certain sound or if they just kind of gave him free will because I feel like this has to be free will and pure artistic liberty to come up with stuff like this. Why is there a voice line? Why are there these weird percussions? Why is there bass that goes so hard and rhythmically? Like, I feel that they just trusted him and Hey, whatever you do, it's great. For as little as I've heard of him, I've noticed he's very experimental, he uses a lot of sounds, he uses pretty much every sort of patch on the keyboard, that kind of thing. Just really just maybe the kind of person that like meticulously just starts going through every setting, turning all these knobs, gets a sound and then makes an entire melody off of that one sound whatever it could be and it's it's really inspiring stuff like you can tell this this is very inspired work and someone who doesn't do this as just a, a job you know like they were kind of meant to do this type of thing I, i'm seeing as all these things i'm saying is probably the reasons why he's um noted in such high regard in the in the community is you know every time you talk about david wyasty He's like in the legendary status. I never heard of him until I started doing this channel, but I get it. And the reason I haven't heard from him is because I don't I don't own a Nintendo. I never played Nintendo as a kid. I was a Sega kid, I'm sorry. So I feel like I feel like he can do no wrong. <laughs> it's kind of like a recipe for success. I can expect at least now to have something like if I have an, a new David Weiss composition coming in. I can expect some probably gnarly bass, some crazy sounds I never would have thought of, and something extremely catchy, kind of on the realm of like Koji Kondo up there, you know, I, who I consider someone in that legendary status as well. So I've been missing out, basically. <laughs> and then the only other thing I have to add is the, uh, since I don't know the context here, I don't know why it would be like a kind of a sad song. <clears throat> Is the uh, the vocal track? I don't know if that was him or not, but I honestly I thought that was a it was unnecessary. Totally didn't even need it, but it added so much to the song, making it sound like an actual just real quote unquote song piece of music, etc. This is just really impressive, and I don't know what else to say besides that. It's really cool. <laughs> that this was around uh some a lot of this stuff was made before some of you guys were even born i don't know if they're still active i think they still are i don't i don't really uh deep dive and research too many um like i learn about composers as they come into the channel but i don't like always you know go learn about their history or learn about what they're still doing i just kind of take it in as it's happening and then just you know move on to the next video type of thing that's where you guys come in, and that's where the comment section is always pretty informative in these in these videos. Because you guys know all that stuff. And then you fill me in and tell me all these interesting trivia things like, oh, did you know he went to this college? And, you know, what, stuff's like that. So, But I like knowing those kind of things, too. It's really cool. Uh, yeah, mining, mining melancholy is... 
Mm -hmm. It's uh, superb. It's going to be one of the songs I use in my background as I'm talking. And, you know, people are going to ask me, what song is that playing? That kind of thing. This is what this would be one of the songs that I show to people. It's very impressive. I can tell that when you guys played this for the first time, whether you were kids or an adult, stuff like this, like, really stands out. You're like, whoa, why is this? What is this crazy music playing right now? And why is it making my head move type of thing, you know? It's one of those where subconsciously you're paying attention to it. And then it hits you kind of randomly, like in the middle of the stage or something like, wait, what have I been listening to this whole time? So that's 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 it. So a big, you know, a big shout out to David Wise. And I, I know he watches the channel, so it's really cool. It's a big honor. Uh, even though I didn't grow up with your games or anything, I'm learning about them now, which is interesting because now my mind is more developed as I'm older. <laughs> but it's it's really cool and it's really nice to see the talent and to hear. And the communities is not lying about Mr. Weiss. If you want to make a request, you could do so on Patreon or PayPal, just like a Tetsujin here did. Either are totally fine, and those are guaranteed ways I will check out your song if you do not mind waiting in a very, very long wait list. If you do not want to wait, I have the Platinum Trophy on tr Platinum Trophy tier on Patreon, which expedites your request to the very top. A big thank you to those current supporters, Justin, Kevin, Moon Knight, DJ Singletone, your average metalhead, and Mushi Mary. Thank you to all my other supporters. Thanks to you for watching. And again, thanks to David. And let's continue this series of composers on the channel that I will be checking out. Until next time, dudes and dudettes, my name is Jesse. Thank you for 50K. Surreal. Peace.